Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Meta Business Read tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out these soft riches under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be new to using the Meta Business Read here and you're wondering how do you start using it? Well, using it is fairly easy, but in this case, we'll be discussing the most basic and the uh, things that is essential here to get you started in using the Meta Business Suite here. But obviously, there's going to be a lot more that you could do here in the Meta Business Suite here. But again, let's just discuss the basics first. So the first thing that you want to do here is you want to go to the official web page for the Meta Business Suite here, which is going to be business.facebook.com. Now in here you might they might ask you to log in into your account, but if you haven't logged in, just log in. But again, if you just if you're already logged into your account, you should be able to access your account here. Now the first thing that you'll notice here is going to be your homepage. But there are going to be other things that you can also access in this page here, which in this case we have notifications, planner, content, insights, inbox, monetization, ads, and all tools. Now we also have search settings and help. Now, just to give you or just to give you some information here, the homepage actually contains the general things or general tools that you might want to access for your page. Like for example, if you want to create a post here, you could go and click on create post. Now you could also create a reel, you could also create stories, go live and even do more like creating ads, post video cross pages, bulk upload reels or bulk upload videos. Now, there are going to be some other information that you could do here as well, like for example, your weekly plan here, like managing your marketing content, and a lot more. So depending on what you have already done here, it will display you the weekly task. So again, this will contain the general information and general tools that you could use for your uh, Facebook page. Now, you also have the capability of like, for example, editing your Facebook page here, adding a cover photo, or even uh, actually clicking on the actual photo here, and basically going to your page, which in this case, you could basically start managing it, changing your profile photo if you want, and whatnot. But in this case, let's go ahead and go back into Meta Business Suite. Now, that's the full use of the homepage here. Again, if you want to create a post, just click on create post here and you should be able to see the general thing or general way of creating different posts. But the thing here with Meta Business Week here is you could actually see a preview of your post. Like for example, if you're posing a picture, it, the picture will be shown here. You could also switch over to the desktop version or the mobile version. But just to give you an idea, let's go upload some photo here from our desktop and maybe I want to upload this one. Click on open. And as you can see, it's going to showcase or give me an idea of what's going actually uh, what's going to look like on that specific post as you can see right now. Now you could also add like text here, you could add scheduling options, which in this case you could set this when it's going to be published or posted. Which is something really cool if you want to plan your post up ahead. So yeah, so you won't have to worry about uh posting immediately and just schedule it for sometime in the future. Now in this case is gonna go back to our homepage and click on the start changes here. Uh, temporarily. Now, when we go to notifications, this will actually give you the option to view your notifications. Just in case, like for example, uh, if you receive a message on your account or any other notifications that you might need to know about. So yeah, notifications from any itself, this is your notifications. Now, the other section that we get access here is going to be the planner. Now, like what I said before, since you can actually plan posts up ahead in the future, you could actually view them in this section here, which in this case, you could easily see what is going to happen on your account. So in this case, what's going to be posted on this day, the next day, or even the following days here, which in this case, you could go ahead and schedule another post or sorry, real live or schedule ad here if you want to, which is a great way for you to start managing the current events for your account. Now, we also have our content here, which in this case gives you an overview of what your account is uh, currently doing. So posts and reels will contain your posts and reels. The scheduled here will give you the scheduled posts and reels. Your drafts are going to be the posts that you haven't published yet, but you've currently uh, set aside for the moment. We also have the expiring here. We also have the expired and a lot more. We also have the stories here if you want to view your stories. Again, it has different options like scheduled and archived. A and B tests here 
is a way for you to test two different contents and see which one actually does better. So if you want to create one, you can go and click on create A-B test here and start comparing which version actually works better for you. Now the feed and greed here actually gives you the option to see your feed or greed. So in this case, we have our Facebook page here and we also have our Instagram account if you have any connected. Now, by the way, you can connect your Instagram account via the homepage here if you want to, but you can also click on connect account here to connect it into your account. Now we also have the mention and tags here, so just in case someone actually mentions you. And we also have clips here and a lot more so basically the content page here actually contains different contents different mentions and tags the look of your account your facebook photos your playlist series and anything that is about your content this is where you'll be able to start managing them and uh, basically uh, seeing them now we also have the insights here which allows you to basically see how you are currently performing now the overview page here contains the overview for your page. Like for example, your current reach, your three second views, your one minute views, minutes viewed, content interactions. Now in this case, you can change the time by the way, if you click on the top right here and choose the time range for the, what you want to see. But if you want to see specific information about your account, you can go and go to plan here and basically see what your goals right now to. So basically a thing with uh, social media is you need to be really consistent. That's why there is a plan section here that keeps you up to date what you have done for the week. And basically there are going to be some targets here, like publishing ads, publishing one post, stories, connect to Instagram. So a lot of those stuff. We also have your souls here. Which, give, which in this case gives you different uh, information about your reach, your visits, your follows. So this are in uh, detailed information about your data. Now, if you want to export them, you can go and choose export either as PNG, CSV, CSV or PDF. Now, audience here actually gives you how, what your audience uh, currently is. So it should show you your current Facebook followers, your age and gender here, your top cities, your top countries, if you want to see them. Now we also have messaging here, which allows you to see your messaging inside experience. So in this case, it's going to show later here and basically see how you are currently engaging, like messaging conversion started, the conversation started, your total contacts, and a lot of those. We also have benchmarking here, which in this case allows you to compare your business. So you also have the business to watch here, just in case that you want to basically see how you're doing versus a business, or if you have a direct competitor, you could add them into the watch list here. Now, you have the option to see your overview here, like what we saw before, and even content. Now, if you go to inbox here, you should be able to see the messages that you may or may have received. Now, in this case, you can see your messages for Messenger. For Instagram, if, you connect, if you're already connected your Instagram account, your WhatsApp, there's just something pretty new here, but you need to connect your WhatsApp account. You also have your Facebook comments, if you want to view them, and your Instagram comments as well. Now, monetization allows you to monetize your content, which in this case allows you to earn money through the content that you create. So if you want to see if you're eligible, you can go and click on view page eligibility and you need to meet some uh, sort of criteria. Like for example, you need to have like in-stream ads here, you need to have subscriptions and all of those requirements in order for you to monetize your content. There was all of your branded content here, which in this case allows you to uh, apply as a creator. So in this case, it enables you to add tags, uh, allows you to apply for, as a creator, add block partners, email notifications, and tagging approvals here. So basically anything that you want uh, concerning regard, regarding your brand, you could basically apply and change a few settings here. Now, if you want to see the issues that you received before, you could go to policy policy issues here and basically review any policies that you've gone against. Like for example, if you've done any violations is where you'll be able to see them. Now, if you want to also see your monetization tools here. So currently I haven't set up my monetization here. That's why I'm able, I'm not able to see it in here. But again, let's go to ads. Now, ads is a way for you to uh, start promoting your content. Like, for example, you want to promote a specific post. 
you could basically create an ad for that. Let's go and click on create ad here. Just give the example and it allows you to choose what type of ad you want to do. Like for example, you want to promote your page. You want to get uh, started with automated ads, get more messages. So depending on what your goal, you can basically create your ad for that. Again, different ads have their different goals. So choosing the appropriate goal here will give you more chances of success depending on what you're aiming for. Now, finally, we have the all tools section, which in this case gives us additional tools that we could basically access. But again, like what I said before, there are going to be a lot of tools that you could access on uh, Facebook or Meta Business Suite here, which is something that you need to learn one by one. But since we already know the basic here, you should be able to start using Meta Business Suite and hopefully start your journey as a content creator. Now, in this case, that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.